What? You got a water buffalo in your hunting camp tipping your truck over? Actually hooking and lifting your truck off the ground? This is craziness, but this doesn't surprise me coming from J.P. Longbotham. JP is a hunting guide out in West Texas, and they get into all sorts of crazy situations with, with bison, American bison hunting, and I didn't even know that they hunt or have water buffalo. I don't even know if they hunt them, but I do know they're there, and they came into his hunting camp and were hooking his truck. I guess they hook it and lift it and do a bunch of damage. So anytime you have, well, I would say livestock, and I'll show you an example of my, my rooster, dealing with some livestock in the yard. But anytime you get cattle or water buffalo in your yard, um, they're apt to cause damage and they're dangerous. Apparently, according to JP, these water buffalo are very dangerous and they're very aggressive. So he tried to um, push them out of the camp with his side-by-side -side, uh, and they charged it. So apparently these, these, these guys are tough. So what does he do? He once again puts my puppy down in a dangerous situation, Crockett along with his older uh, mixed dog here. Uh, but oddly, Crockett stays out of the way. Funny how that works when you got a good cow dog instinct that doesn't just go in and get killed and act stupid. Also with his older dog, who knows to them? So he puts down both dogs um, and the water buffalo don't know how to, their, their strength is not their advantage anymore. So the dogs are able to do what cow dogs do, or I guess a bay dog style, cow dog or lacy dog style cow dog and then jp's other dog here where they move in and out and around and they they antagonize the animal and so they're not going head to head with its strength so a dog like a pit bull might go straight in and try to grab the ear of one of these water buffalo and can easily get killed or hurt but with a lacy dog the lacy dog's strength is its agility and speed so you can see the dogs can move around amongst the water buffalo and the water buffalo are responding. And this is after charging JP and his side by side. So just awesome, awesome video clip, JP. Thanks for sending this over. I just love the exposure that you're giving Crockett at such a young age. And, and I'm really just happy that he's able to perform uh, without getting hurt. I mean, you're literally taking this pup on, on, on buffalo hunts where the rest of the herd is around trying to protect the, the shot buffalo. Um, you're using them to remove water buffalo from uh, the hunting camp. I mean, these are dangerous situations where the instinct has to be there uh, in order for the dog to perform. Uh, you got an older dog guiding him, of course, which is just awesome. Just awesome stuff, JP. And, and uh, anybody that wants to uh, go hunting out in West Texas, sandhill crane hunting, dove hunting, uh, bison hunting, uh, water buffalo hunting, apparently, you need to contact JP Longbotham. I'll put the uh, link to his website in the description. Um, also, I'll just show you kind of basically what I deal with at the ranch here with my dog Rooster. It's the same concept. So whenever you get cattle come in the yard, they're, they're, they're apt to do damage. They'll, they'll, any kind of small trees, they'll come rub and break them off. Uh, they'll, they'll break uh, windows with their horns. I, I raise longhorns. So basically when cattle in the yard, we have just a basic cow dog task that's really not even necessarily a cow dog thing. This could be beneficial to you, anybody that's in a situation where you have a, a, a home area, a home where cattle might come into the yard. Uh, this is just a really great uh, exercise to have down and, and it's really basic. Uh, in this case, I have a gate. Uh, my dogs, the, the number one thing I teach cow dogs to do is to move cattle through gates. Okay, so in this case, I have cattle in the yard. You see, I'm using my dog Rooster and we'll move the one out and we'll move the rest out and we just push him out the gate and then you have to see me call him out. It's like, cause he'll still want to chase him. It's like, no, 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 that's the end of the job. So really anytime you're working with a cattle dog, no matter how small the task is, I recommend that you teach them that the objective is to move those cattle through a gate. And as soon as they move the cattle through the gate, it's good boy, good girl, good job. And that's when you do your high five and give them all their affection.